is um, uh, a sort of collaborative art space, that's what I call it, but it's really uh, uh, a platform for me and some of my good friends uh, to um, exhibit our work, to sell uh, editions of our work online on our website. It's a bit of an experiment, but um, it's exciting too. It has that, um, I have that anticipation and excitement that you get when you're doing a kind of live art event is you don't really know what's going to happen. It may be quite provocative. After uh, uh, several years working in the design industry as a creative director, producing communications materials, I'm now using those uh, skills, if you like, to um, build websites and uh, now I'm uh, pursuing my own creative ideas and I'm an artist. Um, I'm using, trying to use all the tricks that I learned in the uh, communications industry to uh, produce a kind of online digital community of people who are interested in these artists who are going to follow um, our website. There is, there is a definite separation between the work I do as for my paintings and uh, the design work that I do. And in a way, the, the paintings are a reaction to doing design work because as somebody who's um, taking other people's communications problems and applying sort of logic and order to those, uh, the paintings that I do are taking recognisable things like figures and clothes and situations and then making them more obscure, more ambiguous and more sinister. So I suppose it's the sort of opposite of putting everything in order and making it extremely clear. And, and the paintings reflect things that I'm very passionate about, which I always have been. It seems like after absorbing all that stuff for years and years and years, it's finally sort of coming out in, in my work and I've got my own interpretation of those ideas. I started by, I was already really in, keen and interested in nightlife culture. My brother was uh, a club promoter already in about 1983-84. He was running a club called The Lift, which was, it was, it was kind of, you could say it was the first polysexual nightclub. It was all human beings welcome. I was taking pictures even while I was there. And then I quickly got involved with doing pictures for ID magazine, doing their their sort of so-called straight-up pictures, people in clubs and on the street and whatnot. I'm part of this show called Ordinary Monsters. It's um, a series of work that I made sculptures from found objects. 
and I reform it in the studio and, re and photograph it. It's a process of feeling the material and understanding how it can work. Calpish uh, Lithigra, photographer, based in London, working across media, editorial, commercial, and uh, artistic, I guess, if you want to call it that. We're looking at the kind of connotations when people wear these masks and how people react to them. Um, they could be political, they could be artistic. It's about genera generating a debate and also just exploring this kind of experiment of how we react as individuals to each other. The interesting thing is that how we react down a normal street, we'd be walking, you know, we judge people by the way they look. So what happens when we cover them up? What connotations? Are they dark emotions? Are they light emotions? It's just really about exploring the different, I guess, facets of hu human nature. Thank you.